having issues with a sample not quite being on time in FL Studio? Well, today I'm going to show you everything that you need to know to fix that problem. While most modern music is recorded to a tempo, that is not the fact all the time. Please smash that like button and subscribe. So first things first, I've got some piano printed in here from another video I did. And I'm just going to act like I dragged a new sample in here. So if my BPM is 110, you're going to see this isn't quite on time. Now what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to come to this little audio section here and you're going to click stretch. Now if I play this, we're going to hear that piano for reference. If I click Alt, which makes it so this doesn't snap to a grid, and I stretch it to the end point right where I need it, when I click play, listen to the piano again. And that could be cool, you might like and want that, but if you want to avoid that, you're going to go into whatever sample or item you're using, I just double clicked, or we can go here, open it in the channel rack, and we're going to click stretch. And what stretch is going to do is it's going to make the time and the pitch separate. So now when we play it again, and we can also shift the pitch without shifting the time. Whereas if we go resample, none, resample, and I start shifting the pitch, you're going to see it move. If I go stretch and I start shifting the pitch, nothing's happening. For the sake of not having too many artifacts in this, I'm going to speed up the pitch because the shorter you make something, the more high pitch it wants to be, the longer, the more low pitch it wants to be. And when the pitch doesn't change with the time, you get artifacts and sounds that are a little bit off. So I'm gonna just pitch it up a bit. We'll go one. Cool. Now our pattern is on time with our playlist here. So what I would do now is I would take this and we're gonna click consolidate this track from track start. This is going to make us a new one here, okay? And if I open it, I want you to see we're in resample. There's no time or pitch shifting, nothing. Everything that we did that we edited on this one is now actually saved and recreated into a whole audio file. And this is important because if we want to load this in a sampler, a sampler is not going to save these settings in here. If I go load this into Fruity Slicer or into SliceX, it is no longer going to be on time with our BPM of 110. Now we can always stretch things in those samplers, but I find it a lot easier to just grab something, click Alt, and move it to be on time with the track I need it to be on time with. So, and we're going to come to an effects track and we're gonna load up New Time. Now what we'll do is we'll drop it in and we're gonna take a look here. So this automatically loads with all these chops here which is great, I like that, I'm gonna use that. But if you need to do your own, you can click delete all markers and just shift and click where you need it. When you shift, you can get this little line so you can line it up. And you're gonna double click them to get rid of them. You can also double click to place them. And what these markers are gonna do is you're gonna be able to drag them to these different points. So, for dragging to these points, we're going to have our little snap to grid section here. I got it to a quarter beat. You can have it off. You can change it to whatever you want to help you get this stuff where you need it to get to. Now, next thing you're going to want to do, if I slap this to the playlist by clicking this button here, we're going to see that it is now on time. And we can take this and we can open it now in a new slicer or slice X pattern. Or we can come here, click this little draggy button, and drop it right back in to our slicer. And now we have our new on time sample ready to be used. And this can be done for fixing drums. This can be done for fixing just about anything. You add a slice marker, you drag it over. It's wonderful. And I think that just about covers all of it. First things first that we went over was lining up with your BPM and 
getting a sample stretched to where it's on time with the rest of the song. Second thing second is if you have swing or something that is bothering you with timing issues within a sample, you can open it in new time, place a marker, stretch it to where you need it, and then drop it back into your sampler or playlist on time. I hope this was helpful. And if you liked this video, please like this video. If you have any comments, please comment. I always appreciate a subscribe. It's Warren with Scale Audio and Adios.